Hello, Shamai. Uh, so I'm doing my review today on the Wax Time in Color record printing label. So as I said before, I picked up this Ray Charles. What I'd say, uh, it's an unbelievable album. If you haven't heard it, go listen to it. It's great. Uh, I'm not doing a review on the album itself, more on the actual pressing. So yeah, basically Wax Time in Color, they're available all over Amazon. Uh, the cheap prices for colored variants of a lot of famous jazz, soul, blues albums, you know, and it's a bit suspiciously cheap, some of them, you know, it's like you're paying £15 and you're getting what's, you know, listed as a limited edition uh, for, you know, classic albums, essentially. Um, you know, to compare that to HMV, you're paying £30 for Miles Davis, album on you know like a, a limited run color variant you know it's a bit odd i think so i just want to run over my thoughts and my opinions on this album i'm going to crack it open as well have a look to see if the color is anything like this um it's advertised on the label it's got that there and yeah we'll just uh, get into this now and see what's cracking um i do have a few first impressions of it uh, and they're not all great. So first off, Wax Time in Colour, it, they don't tend to own the original master rights for the albums, which is why they're cheaper. So they're technically kind of like a bootleg copy. So if you're, you know, into having, you know, original copies, you know, you're not into bootleg. I have a couple of bootleg, I think I have one bootleg record in my collection. Um, I don't mind it too much, to be honest with you, as long as it's a good copy for this. What I like with records is I like the condition to be good. I like to have a good conditioned record. I don't mind so much about originality. Like I'll buy happily buy a repress of a, a classic album as long as, you know, because the condition is good on it, it's a repress, you know, I'm fine with that. With this though, they have altered the cover itself. So on the original, this is kind of different by here. They've put their own wax time hi-fi logo thing here they've also put it on the spine of the record by here as well and it's also on the back but the back is where they've made the most changes because the back design on this which is that there i'll put that on here and then i'll put up the original design which is vastly different and i really really like the original designs on some of these older albums you know it's kind of like um i've probably got a load here I think companies like Vinyl Me Please do it the best. So this, for example, here, Frederick Knights, I've been lonely for so long. So what they've done here, they've repressed this. It's all looking exactly like the original. You know, obviously they, they're allowed to use the stacks label on this. You know, I understand that with this, they're not able to put Atlanta Records on there. So I can understand that. but. You know, they kept it original on the back. They've just kind of put their own VMP Classics section thing on there. It's like you're owning the original, an original copy as it would have been picked up or as close to, whereas this is completely different. You know, I mean, the, like the, the track listing thing there in the green square. I mean, that's literally just the green square with some writing in it. Like I could have done a better job than that on Photoshop. To me, I don't like this. I don't like the fact that they've got it on the spine as well, wax, wax time in colour. Yeah, it's um, not really a massive fan of it, to be honest. I'm interested to see what the inner label looks like as well, because I know that this copy, I've done a little bit of research on the original labels and how the original looks, and there's a lot of different inner label variants of this as well. So I'm quite interested to see what the actual inner label of this record looks like and the color obviously as well so i'm just going to crack this open now and see what we got inside of here and boom so that is the vinyl itself and i've got to say that looks actually really really nice you know it's a thick pressing i'm not sure if it's a yes yeah, 180 gram pressing so feel the thickness on it, it feels like good quality vinyl, it's definitely not warped. Uh, the label is obviously, again, they've put their own one on there, uh, well, their own logo on there again, Wax Time and Colour. Again, I, I wouldn't mind it if it was on, for example, the label of the record, and maybe 
on the front and then not on the side or on the back or on the back and not on the side and on the front I just don't like how it's plastered everywhere and again the main sin for me is just this complete you know all the advertisements of the other ones that they've done copies of on the side of it and you know they've got like a review on here from 2014 and everything as well as the original line the notes on the back um, I'm just not a massive fan of it to be honest yeah the actual vinyl itself looks really decent and yeah let's see if the quality is decent as well because you know not a lot of people are going to have the same thoughts as me you know quite a few people probably won't care about this they'll just care mostly about this you know they're not too bothered about the packaging it's more the actual record itself that they're kind of like interested in does it play well is it all right you know i've seen a lot of people saying online that they have these copies wax time in color and that they you know they're decent quality when they're playing them on their record player so yeah i'm going to try that out now and have a little test run of red charles what i'd say Yep, yeah, so basically, media-wise, I really like it. It's good. You know, it plays great. I can't really see any noticeable kind of like imperfections on wherever they've sampled this from. Uh, but yeah, so as far as the actual Ray Charles one goes, um, this is great. You know, media itself is great. For me, it's just this itself that lets it down. You know, just it looks a bit cheap for me, you know, with the, the back of it and just having the, the thing everywhere. So that I'm not too fussed on, but the actual media itself is great. So if you're purely looking to just, you know, listen to the records itself, then yeah, I would say just crack on. I think these are, well, based on this one anyway, this is great. You know, if you're into both the aesthetic look of records and the media, you know, maybe, you know, if this bothers you, you know, with all of this everywhere, then, because mm, I'm probably not going to buy any more again, to be honest with you, I'm going to keep this one. Um, I'm going to try and get uh, an original copy or like a, a decent repress of this as well. But yeah, for the actual media itself, the vinyl record is good. You know, I think the color is really, really nice. It is a proper heavy 180 gram record. You know, I picked this up 12 pounds. So that's a really, really good price as well for what you get, I think. So I do think it's good. I just personally would prefer to spend a little bit extra and get a, a repress, which actually has the original mastering um, on it. But yeah, basically, if you're desperate for a classic record and you can't find it anywhere other than Wax Time in Colour, I would definitely say it's a good option to go for. I'm probably not going to get another one myself unless, you know, that happens where there's one that I really, really want to get and it's the only option I have. Yeah. Uh, but that is my review of Wax Time in Colour.